Welcome back to Thunder Sport Plus at Snetterton. It's the 500s and Steve's on the grid. So the second and final race of the Thunder Sport Plus program, the Thunder Sport 500s. Big grey cloud over there, but the sun is out. Can the Stinger Shelton get a win like he did in race one? Second on the grid here, Carl Wilkes, number 23, is going to be looking to get himself that elusive podium. And there we go, Daryl Harrison, number five. He'll want to get up there just as much as defending uh, Mini Twins champion and current championship leader Andy Lawson is in fourth. Thanks very much, Steve. Yes. Colin McCabe, uh, Lewis Osler, Nick Clift, Richard Blunt on that second row. Richard Blunt will be hoping for, to make a better fist of it this time. He is our leading rookie out there, but uh, he ditched it in the first of the two races. But away they go. Can anybody peg back Adam Shelton, who just gets into the lead at Richie's? And that was beautifully done, Steve. Uh, you mentioned earlier, he doesn't seem to mind leaning this bike uh, over at all, and he really did absolutely chuck it in there to Richie's. And look at the result, just two corners further on into Palmer's, and he's already opened up that margin. Yeah, he's got about a second lead already. I think uh, the chasing pack at the moment, probably looking over at those dark gray clouds and thinking, I hope this rains, because uh, it's gonna be the only thing that possibly stops Adam Shelton, but even then, He's a pretty handy wet weather rider anyway, so it wouldn't make much of a difference. Richard Blunt there up in the top 10. Um, looks like he's got away well, but it is Andy Lawson. Is that it? him in third position, I believe? Yes, uh, another who got away well uh, once again was Kyle Wilkes. And I think uh, Kyle will be looking for a really good result this time round. He's best ever qualifying, second fastest in the qualifying session, but uh, didn't necessarily make the best of it and in the uh, earlier race he will be absolutely determined to give a better account of himself this time round now it is still uh, lawson is actually up into second position colin mccabe this time off to a better start in third there's nick clift uh, the former super team we mentioned earlier on just uh, in and around the top eight at the moment. There's Shelton then, look at that lead on lap one ahead of Andy Lawson. Then Colin McCabe, Daryl Harrison, and then Lewis Osler and Kyle Wilkes side by side as they head into Murray's. Yes, Kyle, Kyle just uh, dipping underneath there. Quick look, yes, you're okay, mate. Now then, it's uh, get the power on as you can. And well, Lewis Osler actually does it a little bit better and retakes the position on the run to the start finish line. Yeah, one day riders will learn that uh, looking behind you uh, costs you positions. Uh, bearing in mind Kyle Wilkes had just overtaken uh, Lewis Osler into Murray's. I'm not really sure what he was expecting to see then when he looked over his shoulder, but it does cost you time. Yeah, I see. It's, it's always bothered me. It's bothered me at every level. But uh, there we see number 20 there. That's David Bezik. Once again, and you can see those three orange bibs, those guys racing at the back of the pack, but learning every inch of the way. Those orange bibs, of course, the rookie bibs, telling yeah. everyone it's their first racing season. Yeah, he was there battling with uh, Daniel Bezik as well, and uh, also Richard Walsh. So the three rookies uh, new to racing, and uh, well, we'll keep an eye on them throughout the season, and maybe they'll be able to pick off some points towards the end. You're just seeing shots there. The luminous yellow machine of Colin McCabe. Well, still Adam Shelton leads there, looking back up the Bentley straight from just beyond Brundles. There we see Adam Shelton turning into Brundles, followed by Andy Lawson. Uh, but a uh, bit of a bum fight on for third. Colin McCabe just slicing across and maintaining is the place as they come through Nelson's and run out towards the bomb hole. But look at number five, Daryl Harrison, right in his wheel tracks and very keen to uh, dispossess Colin McCabe of that third place. But at the moment, can't quite squeeze away through. Now, Corum, Steve, tightens up much more now on the exit. They really do have to uh, be aware of that. Corum's always a corner that's caught a few people out on the outside of the corner. Uh, but now, as it tightens up there, they really do have to concentrate as they get on the brakes for Murray's. Yes, it used to fan out a little bit. You used to even be able to apply the throttle just before you tipped into Russell's, but now it just comes back in even further. So you have to be a little bit careful. There is Daryl Harrison just behind Colin McKay. These two need to be a little bit careful not to take each other out because they are second and third in the championship and quite a way behind uh, Andy Lawson in front and then this uh, Massive battle, Schofield was in there, that's Stuart Campbell, 
all sorts of riders gunning for points. See there in fourth place, Daryl Harrison working hard chasing Colin McCabe, but uh, Kyle Wilkes just sat behind him. And once again, he'd love to get involved in that battle for what essentially is the third podium place. I know uh, I mentioned earlier, I think Carl superb in qualifying, his best ever. He really wants to get more out of it though. There's Chris Poncia, number 57. Look at that lovely uh, little five-way, six-way battle indeed uh, that Chris is involved in. Yeah, that's being led by Stephen Petri at the moment. Chris Poncia, to say this is a local circuit would be a bit of an understatement. Uh, he lives in Attleborough. Probably throw a stone into his back garden from uh, here at Snet. The next turning, there he is out there. In, uh, currently circulating in 18th position. But, uh, well, we started the weekend with a full grid of these, 32 to 34 of them. Just moving up to 17th there as he crosses the line, and uh, we can see Andy Lawson turning in in second place into Brundles. And there, once again, this is lovely scrap happening behind, and it's been running the whole race long as well. Yeah, look at that. Kyle Wilkes has got up ahead of Harrison and McCabe now, but Harrison goes up the inside, up into the bomb hole. It's tight through there. You have to be ever so careful. Back on the power into Corums now. Up a gear and then in all oh, that's really, really close between Wilkes and Harrison. This is definitely the best battle on the circuit at the moment. Yeah, Kyle Wilkes really, really pushing and uh, he had got up ahead of Darrell. He now sits behind. And of course, Colin McCabe, who was in third place, is now sat in fifth place. There he is in their wheel track. So this is all about, at the moment, the third podium place. Number five, Darrell Harrison. 23, Carl Wilkes. And 83, Colin McCabe. So here they go into Richie's and uh, Colin McCabe forced to sit up there. Really quick corner to be going up the inside. Um, you can really run out of room in that double apex. There's Steve Kane doing very well, just ahead of uh, Richard Blunt. And then you've got David Carson there. Yeah, it's, uh, as we, we always say, there's great battles going on all the way down the field. There certainly are, except, of course, at the very front where Adam Shelton, the youngster, has just disappeared up country. Here he comes. Nobody able to live with him on this day at the Snetterton 300. He got a great start and saw already that by the time they've been through Richie's, Montreal and Palmer's, he had a considerable advantage on the others and he has maintained that. One of the things he does, Steve, of course, which uh, a lot of riders over the years, a lot of successful riders, has always said has been the best way of keeping your concentration when you're out the front. And that is not to let your lap times drop off. And Adam currently has the fastest lap of this race. Yeah, he's just uh, pumping in the lap times. I mean, interestingly, Andy Lawson has actually shaded uh, a second off his best lap time from race one. But uh, similarly, Adam Shelton's done pretty much the same thing uh, at the front. So he continues to make time up on this new circuit. I uh, should just mention quickly Nick Mallinson having one of his best ever rides up into sixth position. But uh, I have noticed that we missing Kyle Wilkes that time around on the timing screen. So Kyle had got himself up to third, no longer uh, in this race, unfortunately. Uh, such a shame. He was trying so hard and racing well, but uh, it's all come a bit unstitched. But this is the last lap for Adam Shelton as he runs down towards Hamilton. I think they're just about going to miss the rain as well. It's coming. Yeah, I can. Uh, it's actually... I it looks think it's pretty that, greasy, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit of uh, drizzle in the air. Of course, this is a very long circuit running east-west, and you can sometimes get it dry at one end and wet at the other. I think at the moment, it's this end of the circuit which is suffering most, but you can see by that rookie vest, there is also a punishing wind as out towards the bomb hole comes our leader, Adam Shelton. Yeah, for the final time, he makes his way through the bomb hole then, and you can see there little damp patches on the circuit, but it's not going to prevent Shelton from winning four races from four. He moves up to fourth in the championship rather aptly, and uh, well, he may have only made 20 points up on Andy Lawson, but it'll certainly worry the Scotsman, that's for sure. Oh yes, he's uh, steaming along, and I think uh, Andy will be just uh, thinking, well, thank goodness Adam wasn't there from the beginning of the year, but there he is, he crosses the line, and takes the win, and that is no mean feat, I can assure you, to win with such a healthy margin in this very competitive Bridgestone Dunsport 500 series. Well, 
The results see Adam Shelton with a win from Andy Lawson, Daryl Harrison, Colin McCabe was fourth, Lewis Osler fifth, and Nick Mallinson, that excellent sixth place. Here we see Adam Shelton in between Andy Lawson and Daryl Harrison on the podium. And in the championship standings, well, we see Andy Lawson still with that healthy lead over Colin McCabe, Daryl Harrison third, and Adam Shelton moving up into fourth. Well, that's it from Thundersport Plus and the Bridgestone Thundersport 500s for this programme. From myself, Robin Murphy, and from Steve Day, we'll be back with you after the action from Pembrey in Wales.